Match 23, Gabra versus King Kong by Christian Salibert. Home of the greatest banner of all time. Yes, absolutely. Well, at least it tried something different to its credit, but yeah, whatever. We need to pull a George Lucas and change the banner. (laughs) With a strange reverberating cry, the beast made its presence known. The monstrous ogre stomped through the dark streets of Tokyo, swiping at buildings as it went. For years eclipsed by the likes of Godzilla and other kaiju, Gabber decided it was time to leave his own mark on humanity. What a jerk. He he was intend he was intend he was intend on destroying Japan's capital. Uh, that's, I don't know, that sounds weird. Destroying Japan's capital in its entirety entirety and would not leave until it was reduced to rubble. Finally, he would be feared. You know, it's interesting to note that Gabber seems to know what Japan's capital is. I he, think... he must have learned from bullying Ichiro so much yes, that yeah, Ichiro I finally he, I, told him. Yeah, yeah, I think like I think it's like Gabra must have been stalking Ichiro and Minya as Ichiro was teaching Minya about Japan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah better yet, yeah. Me- Ichiro teaches Minya about Japan. Then Minya was minding his own business until he was bullied by Gabra, in which Minya had no fo- vo- no choice but to confess the information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was tortured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's that canon now. Just like Legion being a bigoted Christian. Yeah. Uh, read match 15 for that one. Glaring at the orange and white landmark... Gabra decided that the Tokyo Tower would be the next victim of his awesome might. His cranial horn gl- horns glowing with power, he approached the massive tower. Hey, that rhymed. It was then that he heard a- the roar. It was a sound he had never heard before, and it was filled with anger. Gabra turned around to face the creature that had made the sound. He saw stars as the si- skyscraper connected with his face and was knocked flat onto his back. Roaring triumphantly, King Kong beat his chest with his hands. He had arrived with the intention of raising the city to the ground. Raising the... Wrong raising there, buddy. Only to find some frog-skinned creature already there. He would not stand for this. He would not let some other creature claim his city. Ready for battle, the god of Faro Island closed in. Pass. Okay, where were we? Uh, in an instant. Okay, I see it. In an instant. Gabara was on his feet, screeching fiercely. The monster warned his attacker to stay away. Kong's response was a negative grunt as he punched a rather large chunk out of a building. With his fist as he passed it, Gabara saw this and responded in kind, coursing electricity down through his arm and into his fist. He also struck a building, but... Thanks to his added power, the structure completely exploded, sending debris everywhere. Though at first startled by his foe's sparkling hand, Kong was unfazed and went on the attack once again. Gabara leapt towards him and met his foe halfway. The two creatures clashed violently, each trying to get a hold on the other. Kong's fist flew upward, striking Gabara right in the face, causing him to stagger. Gabara lashed out and kicked Kong in the shin, who... Responded by reaching to grasp his injured leg before Kong could back up. Gabar grabbed his head and struck it with his own, knocking Kong over onto his stomach, quickly pressing the advantage. Gabar began kicking Kong in the stomach as hard as he could. The giant gorilla cried out each time the bully's foot struck his gut and tried to rise, but Gabar's attack made it impossible again. Again, Gabar kicked each time, drawn out a cry of pain from Kong. Suddenly, Kong reached out and grabbed Gabra's foot with a powerful twist. Kong sent Gabra flying off his feet and careering into a nearby building. Kong got to his feet as the building collapsed around onto Gabra, burying the emerald ogre with tons and tons of robo oil just as quickly as he was covered. Gabra exploded out of the wreckage and lunged for Kong, clawing at the ape's face. Kong was forced to back away to avoid his Enemies attack, but he quickly advanced again, grasping one of Gabra's flailing arms with a mighty heave. King Kong flipped Gabra clean off his shoulder and through the air. With a thunderous crash, Gabra collided with the ground. Rolling onto his back, Gabra growled in both anger and frustration. Isn't that kind of the same thing? Yeah, kind of. 
I, don't, I guess it's just to emphasize a certain, the point that he's getting really angry with this, but okay. <laughs> I think we would have kind of known that Kappa was angry after Kong threw him over his shoulder. Yes. I don't think we needed the frustration. <laughs> well, it is frustrating that he's getting beaten, so... This wasn't how his attack on the humans was supposed to go at all. No, he was just, it was just supposed to be a one-sided fight with Gisora. <laughs> This monkey was proving to be a real pain. Gabber decided it was time to put an end to his interference. His horns began to glow. Getting to his feet, Gabber once again leapt towards Kong. The gorilla god swung his mighty fist towards Gabra, but this time he managed to avoid the attack. Acting quickly, Gabra was able to reach out and grab Kong by the neck. With both hands, in an instant, thousands upon thousands of volts of electricity flowed from Gabra's horns, down through his horn arms and into his hands. The electric power can course through into Kong's body, crackling on over his entire form with a cry that sounded like laughter. Gabber knew he won, except it was the opposite, which everyone knows. Suddenly, Kong let loose a laugh with a laugh of his own. Uh, is all right. oh, okay, I was about to say, alright, if I could take over. Plus, I think I hear Gabra in the background, in the form of a screeching cat. <laughs> hey, you made a guest appear. Yay! Anyway, <clears throat> effortlessly, Kong knocked Gabra's arms away from him and let loose with a powerful punch to Gabra's face. Sparking with electricity, Gabra was sent flying back. Gabra panicked. Did, he, did his greatest weapon just make his foe stronger? And was he sent back several miles? <laughs> Kong was on Gabra in an instant, hammering away at the creature's feline face with his now supercharged fists. Ow, and oh my. Damn. Despite his attempts, Gabra couldn't block the gorilla's assault. Don't you mean monkey? And was struck again and again, getting electrified with each blow. Suddenly, Kong suddenly rose from Gabra and grabbed the ogre's legs. With a powerful toss, Kong sent Gabra flying through the air. The beast crashed into a series of warehouses, reducing them all to rubble. Dizzy and bleeding, Gabra didn't even have a chance to fully rise before Kong grabbed and tossed him again, this time by his head. This time, this time when, Gab when Gabra hit the earth, he didn't get up so quickly. He never got the chance. He never got the chance either, as Kong pounced upon him once again and once again began pummeling the ogre in, in the face and once again just said once again <laughs> again and again and again and again and again and again so many again Kong yes. struck when, su when suddenly Gabra grabbed a nearby car and smashed it onto the, into the gorilla's face the ensuing explosion was enough to make Hall fall from his foe, allowing Gabra to get to his feet. His face was bleeding freely now. Gabra, his face was bleeding freely now. Gabra began to run as fast as he could. That's a weirdly constructed sentence, but whatever. And also, cars, I know cars can blow up with enough gas, but I don't think smashing it against the monster's face would do anything, unless it was electrically charged. That that might be an exception. Just saying. By the time Kong had regained his wits and made sure his fur wasn't on fire, Gabra was far was too far to bother chasing. Kong decided to let him go and grunted in satisfaction. The ogre should have known better than to mess with the king. Ooh. Beating his chest triumphantly, Kong let out a cry of victory. He then turned his attention back to Tokyo and wondered where he could find a blonde. Winner, King Kong. Fun so and also, epilogue, Kong never found a blonde in Japan. <laughs> so Kong's still womanizer, then? Yes, he is and always will be. <laughs> also, uh, one thing to say about this match, it's all ogre now. <laughs> yeah, it's all ogre now. That's pretty much all matches with Gabra. It's all ogre now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this one's just, just uh, I think the uh, really, the kind of the highlight moment, which I think people could probably see from a mile away, is the Gabra's electricity charging Kong sort of thing, which is like, yeah. I think this is, if I am remembering this correctly, because I have a terrible short-term memory, 
uh I think this was probably about the, one of the first few times where another monster was responsible for powering up a, uh, the opponent. So, I guess in that sense, it was the first one to do it. And it's, it's a cool one. I don't mind. Uh, I think it was done in match 100 as well. Right, right. But again, that's much later down the r line. I'm talking about for these yeah. early matches. Like, uh. Yeah, I think this was probably the first one that... Uh, ever utilized Kong be drawing electricity from another monster. So, which, hey, you know, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, do you have anything to uh, add on to that? Um, only that it has the greatest banner of all time still. Well, of course, like the two really small shrunken down Gabra and Kong... I mean, yeah, with that particular shot, I don't think it looks too bad, but at the same time, it just... I don't know. I mean, I, I know what you mean. Like, maybe something different could have been done with it, but I think, like, sometimes far-out shots can be neat. Like, with everyone versus everyone's a great example of a far-out shot, just capturing the scope of the freaking fight. But, yeah. Also, I think the only blondes he might find are Gongoro girls, so just be wary of that. Yeah. If you don't know what that well, is, look it up. I'm talking to the well, audience. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think there's anything else I could say about this match. Okay, alright. So that was Gabra versus King Kong. And we will see you guys next time for match 24. Until then. <laughs>